All right, all right. Welcome everybody to this video, to the channel. Welcome back to Unreal Engine 5. Do I have a very interesting video today? So first of all, I want to thank you all for the response to my latest video. Every video that I'm posting is breaking records of views inside my own channel. And I really want to thank you all, you know, for creating this mini community of Unreal Engine 5 with, you know, these tips and tricks and things that you can test in on your own, you know, and a lot of thanks for all the comments and the questions. I want to base this channel in those questions. So if you have, you know, any doubt, any questions, something that you want it to be resolved, you know, post it on the comments and I'll do my best. Right now, we are really focused into, you know, breaking what Unreal Engine 5 is. So you're going to have a little bit of a delay, you know, in between I respond to those comments with videos, but thank you. Thank you very much. So let's start with today's video. We have a couple of things to cover today. You know, in the same terms as last video, we're going to talk about animations. And in those terms, I want to start with a little bit of news. All right. So. So if you go right now to the Epic Game Marketplace, you are going to find this right here. So you're going to have a couple of new things. For example, the seed example buildings, there are going to be, you're going to be able to download, you know, those, that beautiful city, you know, on its own. The same with the crowds and with the cars, right? Along with a couple of other things. And this is really important because now, if you go right here, you're going to find out that there is a new UE5 tab in the marketplace. What this means is very important. And that is, let me show you why it's so important. So if we go back to the Lyra, I know that, you know, gaming is not everybody's cup of tea, but, you know, bear with me a little bit. So if we go to characters and we go um, heroes, you're going to see that there are two mannequins here. We have the old mannequin, sorry. We have the old mannequin, this guy right here. And we do have the new mannequin right here, all right? So this shouldn't be, you know, very exciting, but it is. And it is because this is not just a cosmetic change. There is something very intrinsic on how everything has been working for a while now. And that means that all animations that are on the marketplace up to now were for this guy right here, right? But now with this UE5 tab means that every animation that you're going to find here is going to be for this guy, all right? The big difference between these two guys is that this guy is now compatible with MetaHuman, meaning that now all the new animations that you're going to find in the UE5 tab are going to be animations for this guy and hence for MetaHumans without the need to retarget, without the need of doing nothing like that. So in those terms, we were going to use things like we did before, like double clicking on the skeleton and adding, all right? a skeleton to, you know, get the animation from, from that skeleton and make them compatible. All right. When you do that, you're not only um, sharing all the animations, but also all the animation blueprints, all the um, uh, blends and everything that has to do you know, with gaming, it's also um, shared. So why is this important? Well, the way I um, I don't know if you looked my last video. If you haven't, I'm going to set it as, you know, the banner at the end of this video. So if we come here to cosmetics, you're going to see that I um, added this guy right here as, um, as a player on the game. And for me to get this guy into the game what was really easy. So let me show you what I did. Then we're going to talk about this new guy. If we go to where this uh, knight here is, so he's here, he's in mesh, and all I need to, all I needed to do was was to double click on the gothic skeleton, and then add in, you know, the SK mannequin, you know, the old one, 
as the compatible skeleton, right? So that means that if you have all characters that you want to add, you know, to your Lyra, or if there are animations from the old UE4 mannequin that you want to use, this is the one that you got to use, all right? So if this character is old, he's going to come to this side and you're going to share this skeleton with him, all right? And he is going to get all those uh, animation movements and everything. Now, if you now go to the crowd simple effects blueprints and we bring in this guy right here. Now, if you want to, for example, use a new character, a UE5 character, a um, metahuman um, like a skeleton in your projects, and you do have animations for this new mannequin, they are going to be compatible. So in that sense, um, if you have this guy around and we go, we go down until we see the body, we should be able to see the skeletal mesh body here that we can double click. And if we go to the skeleton to make this guy, you know, compatible with this guy, all you need to do is to, you know, add a new compatible skeleton and we just, you know, select this guy right here, you know, the new man equipment skeleton right here. All right. And you save. And now this guy is going to be completely prepared to get all those animations from, you know, the new, the new character is that simple. So we have a new generation of skeleton. This is the old guard and this is going to be our new guard. All right. Let me just finish this video by, you know, showing you how you can, you know, make a metahuman character into the Lyra or for that sense, you know, the old um, compatible UE4 characters into Lyra. OK, so what we're going to do is to first add, you know, the genite, right? So we we know that we we came here, we double click on it and we added the skeletal the original mannequin as the compatible skeleton that was nice and if you want to add him into lyra all you need to do is go content characters cosmetics and you take any of this either manny or queen and you are going to duplicate it right so we're going to control d and that is going to create a new manny this is going to be test old skeleton all right so if we want to make this to work with this we open it up and then we select the mesh component and we need to select our knight here so any will do and we are almost ready but but this is the thing this game has everything duplicated in terms of the old mannequin and the new mannequin so this apb man in the anim class has everything from the new so we need to find out the old one all right to find out the old one is really easy you just simply open the cosmetic for the mannequin the old mannequin and you can see that there is a special um anim class for the old mannequins that is the apb ue4 mannequin retarget so this is the one that you must add here if you have an all character, all right? So this should be enough. So if you compile and you save and you close everything, now we need to tell Unreal that we want that guy to be our, our spawn, all right? This one right here, the B, B pick random character. And I just, you know, originally, I'm going to show you how this looks. So this will look like this. It's going to be like the new, um, you know, Manny and Queen. We're going to be here, all right? And you just, you know, select the one. And this random Boolean will select one or the other. That's why you get sometimes a guy or a girl to play with. But in this case, we want to do this with, you know, all those knights. So what I did was I created all the cosmetics, you know, for the uh, knight A, B, C, D, E, and F, E and F, and I add them here in a select, right? The same select that we have here, but instead of the index being driven by a Boolean, 0, 1, random, 
I made a random integer and set and set a maximum of six, meaning that only from this six you're you're going to be assigned a character. And you connect this to here, and you compile and you save. All right. Just take a look at how easy it is, and you simply close and you can now hit play. And if I select, for example, the gym, there it is. We are playing with um, our knights with guns, right? So as you see, it's very easy to customize. This game is so hard also. So all you need to do is to create a new uh, cosmetic blueprint. And that cosmetic blueprint is the one that is going to be um, spawned into game, right? So that is with the old guard. Now, how to do the new guard, all right? Um, the CD sample crowd. So it's just, you know, the same. The first thing is to get to that so blueprint and we open up the blueprint. We go to the skeletal mesh component and we search for, this is the body, right? And this guy, mTOL, you double click on it, you go to the skeleton and you know that you must use the new skeletal mesh. So this is going to be um, this one right here, right? The new version, because this is compatible with MetaHumans. Once you got that done, all you need to do now is I went to the city sample crowds blueprints. I made a copy of this guy right here and I move it to the cosmetics folder, right? Once it's here, it doesn't matter if it is, you know, a Manny or a queen. If it is a blueprint, it's going to be enough to be spawned. So all you need to be very sure to have is to select the skeletal mesh and to assign the same anim class as the um, new mannequin, right? If you open the new mannequin, you're going to see that he does have this APV mannequin, copy post C, right? And you assign that one to the body of your metahuman, and that's it. Now, oh, there is one clever thing that is in this blueprint that is, you know, this same blueprint. And that is if you, let me show you. If you open this one out, you're going to see that the gender, the head, the skin, everything is, you know, a number that you can assign. But at the bottom, there is the random option. So if you turn this on, look at this. So you can grab it and drop it and it's going to be, you know, someone. And if you drag it and do a copy, maybe it's not by copying it, but by instancing it into the yeah, that's it. Now you have a different guy. So that means if you're going to play with this, uh, with this option on, with the random option on, you just need to spawn one of this, and then you're going to have, you know, endless uh, uh, possibilities. And we need to go back to the B random pick character. And I went really lazy with this one because all I did was, um, I copied this one right here. And I just assigned, you know, the Lyra crowd, this, this one right here. All right. I, I set it for, you know, both false and true. So no matter what, you're going to get one of those and you compile and you save and you close and you simply hit play. All right. All right, and you're in. And as you see, I'm playing with metahumans inside Lara. This guy just took both weapons. So I need to go up there to get the new one. Oh my God. Come on, come on, run, 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 run. You can do it. There it is. All right, so there he is. And we are all like, um, I don't know, like agents in the matrix, right, playing. And every time you die, you're going to respawn as a complete new crowd uh, metahuman. All right, all different all the time. And let me show you one last tip in this video, and that is going to be how to make more, more bots, because this might be a little bit boring with only four guys, right? For that, we're going 
all and we go plugins we go shooter core and inside bot there is this bot spawner and here is the number of bots to create so now with three so with you it's going to be four so you can set this to nine so now it's going to be five against five and you save and compile and now you go play and if you go for example to the gym we're going to be more people you know shooting at each other with different random guys isn't this wonderful that was a nice headshot right there all right so i'm going to leave you guys i'm going to keep playing but always remember be good love you all and see you soon bye bye